Hey guys, how's everybody doing? We're just going to quickly go over the uh, the new VU notes today, uh, so you guys don't have to read them. There's actually quite a bit that they put in in this, this last patch, um, this new version update, I should say. Uh, we are here on Arcadia. There's a lot going on here. There will be another video out today or tomorrow, and I don't know why I said video now, um, but it's another video out t today or tomorrow. Um, uh, Covering uh, most of Arcadia's uh, version update content, uh, including the uh, Gold Rush event, which is why I'm really here. But let's talk about Planet Sirene for a moment. Uh, we are not going to talk about Next Island because uh, it appears as though they did not get any updates uh, this VU. So, uh, Sirene, we have we have got a bunch of stuff on Sirene. We got new missions, uh, a thing called challenge missions. Uh, there's some been some changes and some tweaks. Uh, with some of the mobs and with some of the missions over on Planet Sirene. Uh, what else we got here? There's new blueprints. Uh, they, they say approximately. I don't know why they say approximately, but 35 blueprints. I guess, I don't know, either approximately 35 blueprints. So whatever that means. There could be more, there could be less, I guess. Um, it says from wep from weapons to tools to armors to attachments. So that's very that's very good. Uh, and it's available from token rewards and discoveries. I would imagine discoveries from crafting. Um, and they also said that the level one through ten, which is an awesome thing, that they're starting to add uh, new blueprints to Planet Siren. That's great. Uh, new token rewards. Um, new vehicles. Uh, cool cool stuff. Uh, there's a it's called the Pig V. <laughs> Uh, a ground vehicle. That's that's kind of funny. And the dragonfly, which is a helicopter. Um, they the planets on Planet Siren. They uh they put the terminals in a better better places for crafters, which is really cool. Uh, overall, the night cycle in Entropia has been changed. Um, it has been brightened and shortened. Uh, it says in some areas. So I I don't know what that means. Um. I have read that the night cycle is only gonna be like 20 minutes now, I believe. I, like, don't don't write that down and, and smash me later in the comments. But I think that's what I read on Planet Club so far. But anyway, that's a good thing because uh, it's been pretty crappy. In fact, you know, I did I was complaining about that in the last video. I think or the video before. Um, anyway, uh, also on Sirene, they changed the some of the uh, some of the item models so that it differs from Mindark items, which is great. Um, some creatures have gone, uh, have undergone some rebalancing, uh, new p teleporters in a couple of areas, and, um, yeah, let's see what else here. Blueprints, which I already said, uh, crafted weapons, uh, yeah. If you go on to the client loader and take a look, there's a whole list of things that, uh, I guess that they're the blueprints. and reward tokens. It gives you a whole list. There's like a couple hundred things which I'm not just gonna I'm not gonna talk about here, but uh yeah you can check it out. Quite a bit. So alright, uh the next one, uh let's talk about Rocktropia. I'm glad si Siren's really starting to pick up some and do stuff. Um you know I, I love to hunt in there. I think the mining needs a little bit of work, but uh yeah I mean it's it's still pretty fun. Uh Rocktropia has a lot of stuff going on as well, including new instances um, adventure survival, uh, which which is kind of interesting. I read the article on never neverdienews.com. If you go there, you could check out every little detail about it. I love how they laid this out and and put a lot of uh, uh of the VU uh, information in the updates. What the instance the instance uh part of their update is quite interesting. You don't even stop to loot. It, it mentions that you'll get the loot at the very end. So which is really cool. Like I said, uh new BPs there. Um new lootable items. What else we got? Uh new guns. Uh, over a hundred weapons. Wow, that is insanity. Um what else? Uh, never die. Components. Better components. New textures. Wow. Rock Trophy got some new textures. That's awesome. Uh, looks like there's uh, new firewall armors, which look pretty sweet. I've always been a sucker for the firewall armors because they just look so, so unique, so different than anything else. Um, 
I don't know. On on the news site, it's there's like a picture of three of them, white, yellow, and orange, and they look they look pretty cool. They do look pretty cool. I know there's a green one and a red one right now. So terminal fixes, uh, loot stacks increase, which is I guess good if you're really all time high or something like that. Uh, well, I think one of the major things in this up update for Rock Trip, you have a lot of people have problems with this performance. Um, they said they upgraded the performance on Rocktropia, so you should see a, a better performance, uh, which is really cool. Uh, and they fix quests, which is also another great thing too. And blueprint fixes, which they need, they, they definitely need to get their economy started, because right now it, their economy is terrible. It's more like a mining plant. You just go there, you, you grab all their minerals, and you get the hell out. Um, so instances, they say like things like crib raids, booty raids, <laughs> booty raids, oh god, cave explorations, penthouse break-ins, and adventures in hell. Now I did notice earlier that there was a key looted um, as a fresh new discovery uh, for hell. So I don't know what that's all about. We'll find out. We'll talk about that in another video. But let's move on to Arcadia news. And again, I will uh, I will talk more in depth about Arcadia in the next mining with Pig Menace. But a new content, a uh, new teleporter, um, new instances that you could use the keys. You know, the guys from Arcadia said months ago that we would see the instances in August, and I was getting a little disappointed that we didn't see them earlier. But uh, you know what? They held their promise. It is the 28th of August, and here they are. Uh, so great work, Arcadia. Uh, Cyrus and Dave. Um, so a new range of items, uh, including gold key blueprint and the L version of the gold key blueprint. Now I'm not sure what it's going to take to make gold key, but um, looking at the gold rush event, it's going to be uh, it's going to be uh, quite the uh, feat to attain. But the rewards are going to be absolutely stunning. So we'll see. Um, a viewing gallery. Now I don't know what's in the viewing gallery. We'll have to cover that in a video. Uh, also a media center, which I heard there's a green screen in it, <laughs> which is quite interesting. So, well, I'll have to play around with that and see what I can't come up with. Uh, four new tracks uh, for for their music list, which is great because their music here, if you have the sound on, is quite monotonous. Um, better ambient sound, better particle effects, uh, a lot of uh, general bug fixes, uh, adjustments made to the Rifter spawns. That that's interesting. I wonder, I wonder if they took him out of Moshane's legacy. Because we had been talking about that in several videos and we mentioned it on the live stream and a lot of my nuggets were quite pissed about that. So I'm going to check that out. It's going to be one of the first things I do. Um, hover pods have been adjusted for greater stability. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, um, 11 new instances. Obviously uh, keys 1 through 10 will be used plus I guess the gold key will open up the 11th. What else? What else? What else? Uh, it says only currently only three of the ten instances are operational, which is fine. It'll get us started, and um, they're having a little bit of problems with the media center. Okay, so we know that. So that's good. All right. So I mean, uh, oh, and I should mention the R coin, which I'll really get into with the uh, the uh, the gold rush event video and. Uh, yeah, ch check that video out because, I mean, really that's pr the primary content of this new VU for Arcadia. Um, yeah, and uh, let's talk about Calypso for a bit. Let me let me get to that page. I'm obviously not prepared for this. Obviously. Alright. So I hope everybody's doing great. Global and Hoffman finding those new discoveries. All right, what have we got here? The migration has come to an end. I kind of figured that would happen. That's that's unfortunate, but all right. Um, planet atmosphere and lighting. I think which oh here we go. The full length of day cycle has been lowered from about five hours to two hours, and the portion of cycle allotted to nighttime has been lowered. So. Well, all right. So it'll be, uh, I guess, the same proportion from night to day. It's just smaller, which is fine, actually. 
So and it, and nights are significantly less, less dark, which is great. So, oh, here's it. This is this is interesting. It is no longer possible to teleport to a location within 150 meters of the oil and an oil rig, and it is no longer possible to use or spawn vehicles within 25 meters of an oil rig. Uh, the this one's the mind blower right here. The use of vehicles have been disabled inside the contaminated area known as PVP4. Holy shit, that spells certain doom to a lot of PvP4 miners, and I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of PMs today, because people are going to be pissed. Um, then again, the PvPers are going to be like, oh, yay, we got finally get to play how it used to be, without vehicles, and a true PvP, and now we get to loot all the miners. So, um, <laughs> uh, Camp Icarus, which is a new outpost, has, has appeared, so that may be a new P TP for you guys to grab. A new oil rig and PvP area, wow, has been added to the northeast of the new outpost. Cool. Um, the Atrax has been updated with new graphics and animations. Uh, new equipment has been added and is waiting to be discovered. And also Argonaut Elites has been added to the Silver Mission. Um, there are still some known issues. Um, it is not possible to skip the new tutorial. So, just so that you new new players will know that. Um, and that's that looks to be about it. Um, oh, I should say that the the primary uh, release of uh, Planet Calypso's content here is the new colonist experience. Uh, I know they said that they've been working on that quite a lot. So uh, they redesigned the start room and the gateway um, for the newer players, which I think is a good thing. I think they need to really keep the bounce rate low. I should say. So anyway, guys, uh, stick with us here. Uh, because we're gonna have a, we'll probably have a new video today, arcade, like I mentioned before. Maybe another one. Well, depends how much, uh, how much content I could jam into it without mumbling and, and jumbling. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.